Hello chess fans! In this game, Akiba Rubinstein found an extraordinary move that violated one of the principles of positional chess. However, this move let Rubinstein prevent Alochin's plan and exert strong pressure. After this move, Rubinstein got a better position and Alochin's mistake let Rubinstein finish the game with a simple but beautiful sacrifice. Rubinstein played black pieces and they played Spanish opening, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castles, knight takes e4. This is the sharpest variation of the Spanish opening, the open variation. d4, b5, bishop b3, d5, d takes e. Now d5 is under attack, so bishop e6 defending the pawn and c3. The idea is to move the bishop to another diagonal from which it will exert very strong pressure on black's kingside. And also, if black was planning to play knight a5 in order to exchange white's most valuable piece in the Spanish opening, the light squared bishop, now it wouldn't work as the bishop would have the retreat square on c2. And uh, in this position, black has uh, two main moves, either bishop e7 or bishop c5, and Rubinstein chose bishop e7. Knight d2, knight c5 attacking the bishop, bishop c2. Now that the pawn on d5 doesn't need to be protected anymore, Rubinstein played bishop g4, pinning the knight, which is defending the pawn on e5, and black is currently threatening to capture on e5. And after h3, bishop h5, the most natural move uh, to defend the pawn would be rook e1. However, Alochin played queen e1, which is a little bit um, unnatural and brings some disharmony into white's position, as the rook, for example, on f1 uh, cannot move to its most natural square on e1. However, Alochin had the idea behind this uh, unnatural move. By playing queen e1, he unpinned the knight on f3, and after knight e6, played knight h2. The idea is to unblock the f-pawn, and now uh, Alochin created serious threats. After f4, g4, for example, would be deadly, as after bishop g6, f5 would trap the bishop, and f5 also harasses the knight on e6, and also threatens f6, demolishing the king side. So, as you see, there are multiple threats. However, uh, this moves queen e1, uh, which brings uh, disharmony, knight uh, h2, which uh, retreats the knight from active position on f3 to passive position on h2, while the development isn't finished yet. And as black hasn't made a single mistake, all this plan, this kingside expansion, cannot work if black takes measures and uh, does something to prevent it. And that's exactly what Rubinstein did. You can pause the video and try to find his original brilliant plan, uh, move, next two moves, which stop all these uh, kingside expansion ideas, and uh, after which he got the uh, advantage. He played bishop g6, attacking the bishop on c2, which is unprotected. And after Alochin captured on g6, we have reached the most important moment of this game. The most uh, players would have captured on g6 with h-pawn, without thinking, automatically, in accordance with the rule, to capture towards the center. However, Rubinstein captured with f-pawn. And now you can see the idea. After f takes g, the f-file is open, and after black castles, the rook on f8 would be very strong. It would exert pressure on f-file. Also, the knight on f4 would be placed uh, much better because it would be supported by the rook. And the most important, now white cannot play f4, cannot implement uh, his plan. Uh, but white made all these moves, uh, queen e1, knight h2, for the sake of this plan. And now that this plan doesn't work, Alochin just doesn't have a plan. He doesn't know what to do. And without plan, it's very difficult to play. And the opposite is the case for black. Black's play is very easy. Black will just graduate, gradually develop the pieces on more active uh, squares and exert more and more pressure. So Alochin needs to finish his development of his queen side. So he played knight b3 in order to open the bishop's diagonal. And now another strong move, g5, in order to take absolute control over f4 square and to prevent f4 once and for all. Bishop e3, castle kingside. Knight f3. 
This natural looking move, uh, knight f3, which uh, develops the knight from the very passive position on uh, h2, and the defends the pawn on e5, is a fatal mistake, as you will see. After queen d7, queen d2, you can pause the video and try to find why knight f3 was a fatal mistake. So as the knight on f3 is the only defender of e5 square, Rubin, Rubinstein just sacrifices the exchange. Rook captures on f3. And after g takes f, you can see what he got for this sacrifice. The king side is completely demolished, the king is exposed, and he immediately gets a pawn for the uh, exchange sacrifice. Knight takes e5, and with tempo, the knight creates deadly threats, the fork on f3. The only way... Uh, to defend it uh, is queen e2 is the only way that makes sense and now another uh, tempo move tempo development of the piece rook that isn't doing anything on a8 replaces the sacrificed rook rook f8 and again with tempo again renewing the threat on f3 the only way to defend is knight d2 and now if we look at the position attentively we will see that although formally white has material advantage, extra exchange. Actually, we can say that alongside with great uh, positional advantage, black has extra piece, as the rook on a1 isn't doing anything, it isn't playing, and it, is, it doesn't have time, it will not have time to develop, uh, because black with each move creates deadly threats. And, uh, however, one must play very energetically after sacrifice, because otherwise, if the opponent manages to develop, then the uh, material advantage would tell. However, Rubinstein, as you will see, didn't give this chance to Alyokhin. Knight g6. Now both knights control f4 square. And uh, even if white exchanges one knight, another one would immediately replace it, and the knight would be just dominating. It would be the best piece on board on f4, creating terrible threats to white king. Rook e1, and now the only piece, black piece, which isn't uh, taking part in the attack is the bishop, and just with one move, this bishop is turned into the monster. Bishop d6. This bishop will create checkmating threats, as you will see in a couple of moves. White's position is hopeless, so uh, Alyokhin makes desperate move, f4, knight takes f4, queen f1, knight h3 check, king h1, and the final blow, g4. The idea is to open the queen's way after queen f5 to h5, and the queen will join the attack with uh, great effect, creating checkmate threats on h2. And after queen e2, as there is no defense after queen f5, Alyokhin just resigned. So I hope you enjoyed the game, and if you are willing to contribute into the channel growth, I would be grateful to you if you like the video and subscribe if you wish. See you in the next videos.